in honor of my alumni status, I'm going to add some eyes <laughs> for this conversation. I'd first like to start, of course, by thanking Mr. Edelman, Marty, uh, and the entire JRF uh, organization for this incredible honor. It is truly humbling to be recognized by a community that has been so foundational and played such a critical role in your personal and professional successes. To be awarded this prize and to have my name indelibly linked with a founding board member I admire greatly, who has been instrumental in building an institution I love, inspires a gratitude that is truly difficult to fully express. Throughout my career in government, academia, and now in the private sector, my work has focused on how institutions function and how they deliver on the commitments they have made to their citizens, students, clients, and partners. It's given me an appreciation for the enduring institution that Mrs. Robinson, the Robinson family, Mr. Edelman, the staff, and the board have built through the Jackie Robinson Foundation. What the foundation has achieved in 47 years and the lives that it has touched, including my own, is nothing short of remarkable. To establish and nurture an organization that has produced artists, doctors, diplomats, scientists, educators, a member of Congress, and hundreds of good global citizens with a 98% graduation rate, it's only possible through an unfailing dedication and leadership. There's no way that my 17-year-old self could have ever comprehended the ways in which the foundation would impact my life when I applied for the scholarship. Now, there isn't very much I remember from that application, but I do recall writing about another Edelman, Marion Wright Edelman, having just discovered her book, The Measure of Our Success, um, which sparked my imagination when she shared that service is the rent that we pay for being. But it is through this foundation and the example of the life led by Jackie Robinson that truly taught me the value of our motto, a life is not important except in the impact that it has on other lives. If ever I had a question about what that means, I had to look no further than this incredible community of staff, alumni, sponsors, and volunteers who live the values of this motto as they pour into the wonderful students that we are fortunate to support. Part of why I vo volunteer so fervently is because JRF and the scholars that we serve have enriched my life in ways that I could have never imagined, and I'm proud to be a member of this family. I hope that through my actions, I can demonstrate some measure of the gratitude I feel to have been a JRF scholar. I endeavor to pay it forward by playing a part in helping today's youth think critically about their place in the world, understand their responsibility as global citizens, and launch their path to breaking barriers in their own right. I would like to offer my sincerest gratitude to Mrs. Rachel Robinson and the Robinson family for the honor of being able to contribute to Mr. Robinson's living legacy as an alumna of the institution that you have built. To the scholars in the audience tonight, I would like to thank you for inspiring me and for giving me great confidence in the future that I know that you will create. Thank you to my fellow alumni, particularly those who came before me, for providing a blueprint of what lifelong service to the Jackie Robinson Foundation looks like. And this began from my very first JRF networking weekend. Thank you again, Mr. Edelman, for leading by example and for demonstrating what it means to give selflessly and be an unceasing champion for the scholars and the alumni who are part of this community. And finally, I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge my parents, Levin and Norma Gaither, who are here with me tonight I thank them for being my first best exemplars of what it means to live a life of service in the military, in education, and in our community by supporting and uplifting the least of us. Thank you again for this tremendous honor.